if you 20 to 30 years old, please find a good boss, not, not necessarily a good company. Learn from the boss, learn how to do it. When you are 30 to 40 years old, try to do something yourself if you really want to try. When you are 40 to 50 years old, do things that you are good at. After 20 years of learning, you should do something you're good at. When you are 50 to 60 years old, spend your time supporting young people. When you are six, over 60 years old, spend time with your grandchildren. That is normally a lot of people like that. In the future, it's not about the competition of knowledge. It's a competition of creativity. It's a competition of imagination. It's a competition of learning. It's a competition of independent thinking. If you think like a machine, the problem will come. In the past 20 years, we'll make people like a machine. In the next 20 years, machine will look like a people. So in the future, it's not knowledge driven, it's the wisdom driven. It's the experience driven. In the past, it's the knowledge driven and it's the manufacturing driven. And in the future, it's the creativity driven. I think next to 30 years, the world is going to change a lot. The new technology is going to change every aspect of the world. So this is what we think the world should be focusing on, not only the IQ, EQ, but also focus on LQ, the Q of love. Because only when you care the others, only you care the others that succeed and more successful than you are, you have the chance. Ten years ago, internet was so good. When nobody believed internet was so good. Now internet is so tough because all the smart people go to internet. So you should go to the off ground. Early days in my company, when some ideas come to my desk, Jack, this is a great idea. And I look at everybody. Everybody say it is a good idea. I normally throw it into the rubbish. Because everybody say it is good. Then all the other people think of if everybody say this is going to be very tough, I'm very interested in that tough question. And I pick up and say, how can we do it in a different way? This is to be unique, to be different. I learned so much about the Hollywood movies, especially the Forrest Gump. You love Forrest Gump. I love Forrest Gump. But why do you like him? Simple. Never give up. And people, people thinking he's dumb, but he knows what he's doing. And I was very depressed the day, a year 2002 or three, in the States. I was very depressed when I, I could not find out a way for the internet. And then I watched the movie in my friend's home, Forrest Gump. When I see him, I think, this is the guy we should learn from. Believe what you're doing. Love it, whether people like it, don't like it, be simple. And like the word, life is like a box of chocolate. You never know what you can get, right? <laughs> I never know I would be here talking to you. I never know. But today I made it. I told my people in my apartment 18, 15 years ago, guys, we have to work hard. Not for ourselves. If we can be successful, 80% of the young people in China can be successful. We don't have a rich father, powerful uncle. We don't have one dollar from bank, one cent from government. Just work as a team. I worry about it today, young people, a lot of young people lose hope, lose vision, and start complaining. Because I, we also have the same period. Because when I got, it's not a good feeling being rejected by so many people. We also depressed, but at least later we find that the world has a lot of opportunity. How you see the world, how you catch the opportunity. So, and the Hollywood gives me a lot of uh, inspiration. Today is very tough. Tomorrow is more tougher. The day of tomorrow is beautiful. But most people die tomorrow evening. You have to work very hard. Every tough days, every tough situations, problems you meet, that is the training of yourself. Everybody is made in a unique and different. So you, you must have a unique and different way. Um, 
A lot of people today have a lot of complaints. Say, I don't have opportunity. I complain a lot when I was young. I suddenly realized complaint does not solve any problem. Where the opportunity always in the place where people complain. There are so many if there are so many opportunities in the world, in this world, because there are so many complaints. If you can solve the complaint, one of the complaints, that's the opportunity. So this is what we we made. I think young people, if my advice to be an entrepreneur, don't be scared of failure of setbacks and don't give up. When we start the business, we had 18 founders, including me, 17 of them, uh, most of them my students, and most of them, uh, well today people think these 18 people, they, they smashed the people uh, in China. We don't think we were smart. Honestly, we all graduate from the very poor schools. Um, the only thing we did was that we are very united, we all believe the future, we are all optimistic. And we learn through mistakes, we never give up.